Broadway and Will Mike see that orange sunrise coming up over the mountains there and that sun's going to be beating down on us today. Here's a look at your traffic and weather together with 4-1 meteorologist Daniel McFarland. Daniel getting up to the 90s pretty quick by noon in fact. Yeah definitely that's the way it looks and it took us a minute to get to the 90s yesterday Robbie what we still got there. Yeah and it's going to be a trend throughout the rest of this week Daniel. Yep, so we are going to have it today and tomorrow. Those are going to be your two warmest days. And next thing we're going to be tracking is going to be some wind that's going to pass us by in the middle of the week. So those of you that don't enjoy the windy conditions, and I know there's a lot of you out there, we will have two days here where we're likely to have wind gusts over 30 miles per hour. We'll talk more about that throughout the week, but I'll briefly mention that in just a minute too. And things will be back to normal by the end of the day on Thursday. So when I say normal, I mean high temperatures back in the lower 80s at least for a couple days and those low temperatures back around where they should be, which is 51. Now we're not too far off from that low temperature. We typically see you see 55 for a lot of us 53. Those warmer spots like Tucson Estates or Oro Valley. I'm keeping an eye on them because if anyone can reach 97 today, it's likely going to be one of those two areas with the way it's shaping up right now. Now Ajo and cells could be upwards of 98 as we'll see here in just a second. There's also a handful of spots down into the 30s, like Douglas, who also has a very solid chance to be reaching 90 later. And you also have Wilcox sitting at 38 for their current temperature. So when it comes to the highs here, many of us are going to be in the 90s. I think the range is going to be in between 93 and 97, with very few spots stopping at 93 and even less spots getting as high as 97. But I think 95 is going to be that nice solid middle number for a lot of us in Tucson. If you're in Cochise County, upper 80s, lower 90s for most of you. I could see spots like Benson, Tombstone, and Douglas reaching that 90 degree mark for the first time this year. And if you go over near western Pima County, that's where you're going to find places that will be threatening triple digits. Likely not reaching it today or tomorrow with the way things are playing on out. It's just something to watch for the next couple days with the warmer air. So the reason why we're seeing this is that everything to do with wind direction. We are seeing high pressure over towards our east, a low over towards the west. And what that does is it brings us more of an east southeast wind. So whenever we have air coming from, say, Texas or Mexico, it tends to be a whole lot warmer as opposed to the west wind that we see coming off the Pacific or, of course, the north wind we see coming down from places like Nevada and Utah into Arizona. All right, so the way things are stacking up right now, wind is not going to be so bad for most of us. Could see a handful of areas seeing some wind gusts today around, say, 15, 20 miles per hour. But for Tucson, your days to watch out for are going to be Wednesday and Thursday with the winds. That's also going to be when we have the cool down, too. So we'll be down to about 92, then then down to about 84. A quick morning down into the 40s, but otherwise lots of sunshine warming right back to close to 90 degrees by Sunday. But it really seems like these next two days are going to be the warmest that we're going to be seeing for quite a while after this. All right, that was weather. Let's go ahead and check it with traffic before we head on outside today. And things are still looking great across the city. Still no reports of any kind of wrecks, but we do have